What is going on, everybody? This is Jen catching you on DTWG Life. Hope you're all having a great day. Um, right now we are in Gemini season, and I wanted to pick the best um, tarot spread to read from because I do want to do like an energy reading um, for all elements. And I'm starting with air. It's going to be for Gemini Aquarius. Help me out. <laughs> Libra. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be doing that. And it's so funny because like with my hair, like when it has split ends and I always have it like slicked back like I usually do, I would kind of like bring it to the front and hold the ends up and go, look, it's the Celtic tree of life. Um, and I've joked about that so many times, I swear the universe just kind of like felt like guiding me to, um, the tree of life spread. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing that for all elements, you know, it, and it goes to show you that like, you could joke about something or be a smart ass and the universe is still going to respond to you. Even if you're just joking or just being a smart ass, it's like, oh yeah, tree of life here. You know, the, the universe says here check this out. You might, you know, be able to use that. And it's like, thanks. <laughs> That's really cool. That's pretty freaking sweet. So I'm going to just go ahead with that. And while you guys are waiting, check out what the spread looks like now. Okay, I'm going to be shuffling and picking out the cards as I go, not to bore you, but to, you know, answer any questions that you all may have about whether or not I am genuine. I'm just going to do this as organized as I possibly can. If, you know, that's a possibility. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. Because usually when I shuffle and, what do you call it? I reach that impasse thing that I usually do. I could see why I reach that impasse because it's now making more sense to me. Um, the top card... Well, yeah, the top card is uh, Spirit, Spirit Guidance. Um, <clears throat> the two that are on the left and right are the pros for both intellect and emotion. Um, the bottom of the second row from left to right is the cons intellectually and emotionally. Um, the unpassed part, I can see, that's where I can see it makes sense. That's why I'm always reaching impasses when I'm shuffling. It's like the universe is trying to tell me that this is the spread I should be using. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and the the part where like the the trunk is, the top part is what's in your heart, and the bottom part is um, the world or world view. Okay, how you view the world, how it views you, etc. Alright, so I have everything laid out, and I would show you, but my desk is messy, and blah, 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 so <laughs> I'm not going to bother doing that. I'd rather just show you a picture of the spread so that you understand what it looks like. What Spirit is trying to tell you right now is that your most basic source of sustenance is coming up upright. Okay. This is for you, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Okay, your sustenance is plentiful. It's coming in full circle. It is on your side. You also have the moon conjuncting with Venus here, which signifies um, that there's an illumination on love, beauty, friendship, reconciliation, things of that nature. 
I think that there are some of you um, that may need to focus on forgiving somebody or some people um, because they truly are a part of the sustenance what sustains you so that you can carry forward and move forward in a better light and a better way and yeah I do understand that you know reconciliations are very difficult because um, people say that trust is so hard to uh, to get back you know it's hard for trust to return to the relationship but I believe that you know when you work on it okay whether it's you or someone else if it's worked on okay it could definitely come in full circle number nine and this is your worth okay that's what spirit is telling you is that reconciliation is possible it's okay uh, to let your ego go to apologize or to let your ego go and accept an apology it's okay to do that it totally is um, <clears throat> The intellectual side of the pro about this, because you got your pros and cons, the pro about this intellectually is that it gives you a sense of nurturing, that it is worth nurturing this relationship. You see how the Empress is riding whatever the heck that is. It looks weird. It's like, <laughs> it's like a cross between a tiger and a dinosaur very strange very wild okay Gemini this should really speak to you that animal that you're riding okay but for all signs um, this is the pro intellectually is the fact that um, the forgiveness is going to help you to become more compassionate towards yourself mostly and then, of course, more compassionate toward the person that you are forgiving. <clears throat> okay. Let me just read what this says. It says, I'm the whore and the holy one. I'm the wife and the virgin. It just seems like either you or this other person has been doing a lot of judging of the other person, or maybe the judgments have been cross-bearing and happening both ways. But that's going to come to an end as soon as, um, you know, forgiveness can be reached. And when forgiveness is reached, number three, there's going to be a lot of compassion between you and this person that you're making amends with. You also have the moon here again, ascending. So it pretty much signifies that as soon as this is illuminated, what spirit is telling you you need to be doing once that is illuminated you can begin to ascend and basically grow and move on at the same time okay. the second pro on the emotional side of things is how it affects what you would like to build from this okay you and this other person are going to be planting a seed for something to grow and in a very pragmatic way because you have earth here okay so when you get back together with this person and forgive this person there may be um, some sort of benefit to to it pertaining to monetary or material wealth not that that you should s forgive a person or let a person forgive you solely for that purpose but emotionally because you're going to feel that compassion becoming the Empress in that way nurturing loving this is going to happen but the inner it, it, it can only happen from the inner work that you do <clears throat> and most of you if not all of you do your own inner work from an intellectual place which is to be expected rather than what you feel and that's actually the best thing that you can do for those of you who view this as um, an opposite or an opposition 
and you put your emotions before uh, your intellect and your, your logic, <clears throat> you might want to change your mind about doing that because it's not all about the material and financial wealth. It's about the inner work that's being done. It's about ascending and rising to the occasion. Okay, but for those of you who are starting on the on the logical side of it, okay, the intellectual side of it, this is going to be worked on because you have Saturn here. But you're going to be doing work on yourself because this is coming in one fold. It does not <coughs> rely on the other person. It relies on you. Okay, you might be forgiving an old boss or an old... A uh, coworker or an old associate, client, but it's up to you to work on your own wealth. Okay, that's that's covering the pro side of it. The con side of it, on the intellectual side, is refusing to open your mind and taking risks. There are a lot of Libras out there that have no problem with being the fool and taking risks, <laughs> which is amazing. I, I think that's a beautiful gift to have, you know, but for all of you um, Aquariuses and Geminis, don't, don't discount this, guys, okay? Especially Aquariuses, because Geminis, you guys tend to like, hmm... Which role do I want to play today? Which twin do I want to be today about this? <laughs> and it's like always hard to decide. <laughs> Aquariuses are just straightforward. Um, after analyzing everything. So this is why I'm really directing this at Aquarius right now. Don't be afraid to take risks. Don't be afraid to take action right away. Because the fool inverted is in action toward um, something better for you. Okay. And you want to be able to take a risk without overanalyzing things. Or getting into what they call analysis paralysis. Don't do it. Because that is the con on the intellectual side. Okay. <clears throat> the con on the emotional side. And I swear, wow, on the emotional side, you have two Earth cards. So apparently your emotions really are fixated on material and financial wealth, which is totally understandable. And this is, this is for all you guys, okay? Excuse me, you have fire with an air, like a sense of creativity or a sense of um, independence. Right? Because like one of the fire signs, Sagittarius, is all about their independence, freedom. Um, you have... Sorry, I should be showing you. <laughs> you have um, <clears throat> Mars conjuncting with Jupiter. This is a con card emotionally. You want to take sudden action, or rather you just want to take action even if it's planned. You want to take action on expanding or expounding upon your earthly resources even if it means walking over someone else to get there that's a con but emotionally you want that you don't care some of you you're just like you know I'll forgive this person but not completely all I care about is winning all I care about is winning I don't care you know if I shake their hand and make amends I'm still going to feel this way anyway. All I care about is winning. This is a con emotionally. Emotionally, this is what you want. And when you tap into your emotions as an air sign, when you tap into your emotions a little bit too heavily, that's like the immature, childish side of you that only cares about winning. That's what this card is saying. Avoid that at all costs because that's not the kind of person you really are deep down. Um, that's not the reason why people love you. That's not the reason why you're trying to make amends. Um, the reason you make amends is because you still love whoever this person is to you and love 
does not equal ego and the need to win all the time. So you want to just stop thinking about that. And I'm so glad that I brought that up because in what is in your heart is you're feeling like you're lacking resources. This is what's in your heart. You're feeling like you're lacking resources, which is why you, you would not mind emotionally, on the emotional side of it, to do this. You would not mind knocking this person out just to win, even though you just shook hands. It's a little bit two-faced. Don't go that route. <laughs> but this is what's in your heart, and that's probably why you would emotionally feel that way, why you would be tempted to do that, but it's not a wise decision to do. Because... Um, you want to move forward and you want to maintain what spirit is telling you that you already have, okay? You do have sustenance, even if you actually say if you actually do lack resources, that's okay. If you work together with this person, okay, you have Saturn here. If you work together with this person, or rather with yourself and them with this person, this person just may be, okay, quite resourceful and able to help you in any way, shape, or form possible and would be more than willing to do it. So I'm not saying to ignore what's in your heart. I'm saying to do the complete opposite. Pay attention more so than ever to what is in your heart so that you can heal it. Okay, You're going to have to heal it for this to work. How the world views you or how you view the world. <clears throat> Mother of water upright. Some of you view the world as this beautiful queen bee just sitting in her throne, chilling, being beautiful, okay, having all of the sustenance and resources ever needed to remain the queen, okay. You also have Venus here. She can also be viewed as the queen of justice, um, but more so hmm, pertaining to the emotional side of things. This may be how, you know, you're viewing the world around you, people around you, specifically this person that you're looking to amend with um, or should amend with. But you're definitely viewing everybody like this only because this person is all you can think of. Okay. The world views you this way. Sorry about the background noise. People are doing yard work and all kinds of stuff, so I apologize for it. I live in a suburban neighborhood, so sorry. Um, okay. Where was I? <laughs> I almost got lost there, man. Like this that's the problem with doing this during the day. It's like you got so many distractions. It's insanity. Um the world views you this way because they see you as somebody who always has their stuff together in one way, shape, or form. Like you're just so cause cause you're an air sign, right? Because you're so like cool and calm on the outside <laughs> when you have all these emotions going on in the inside and you would never show it and you know what honestly a lot of people prize that in somebody who acquires a leadership position so say that like you're a manager a supervisor um, an entrepreneur a business owner okay say that say that you're doing something like that that's why people view you this way because you're just so freaking calm and cool on the outside no matter what the hell is happening on the inside you're very objective as well you're able to see things um, <clears throat> for what they are you also have a lot of patience and you're able to um, kind of nurture people into their role that they need to be in the pro on the intellectual side nurturing mothering okay you're able to do that you're able to kind of nurture people into the role that they signed up for or the role that um, they're meant to be in because you see them for who you are for who they are sorry <laughs> right that, like that's how that's how you view people but do you see 
the fact that Venus is here, love, beauty, friendship, reconciliation, reconciliation. I did mention when I pulled up the spirit card that you must first forgive yourself before you forgive the other. And that's the reason why that self-work, that self-development part of it needs to happen so that you can maintain this leadership position that people view you as being. They look up to you in one way, shape, or form. They look up to you. Okay? And to to stay in this position as a leader that you are. You have to forgive yourself. You have to amend things with yourself before amending things with this other person. Um, I hope that this resonates and that this had um, helped you with at least a few things that need to be addressed and looked at. Uh, if you would like some, if you'd like further guidance on this, <clears throat> please contact me uh, through the first link in the description of this video. It's my Facebook fan page. You can message me through there. We'll consult and I could do that reading for you, okay? Um, if you don't have Facebook, go to the second link in the description of this video. Click or tap on that. Um, my prices are listed. Wow. <laughs> hey, senora. Si, sí, senor. How you doing? I just... Bro, they are so loud. Anyway, <laughs> uh, click on the second link in the description of the video. Jesus Christ, bro. Sorry. Wow. They're so loud. Um, <laughs> could you just do your job? Um, <laughs> like, be the leader? Okay, can't they just do that? You know, like, blueprint out what the directives are, what's supposed to happen before you show up to the job site. See, this is what you guys are good at doing, and that's what makes you such good leaders. <laughs> I had to bring that up, okay, because these people, <laughs> they are my inspiration today. What can I say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it gets that way sometimes. Yes, it does. But yeah, when you click the second link in the description of the video, um, you're going to have a box that gives me special instructions or um, a description. And within that, what you want to put is your name, your sun sign, your email. Okay, especially your email so that I can send the reading to you after you've paid and that's been processed. Okay, guys? <laughs> Like I said, be the leader because some people don't know how. All right. Some people don't know how. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much. That was really entertaining. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bless it be.